Well, I was first really introduced to Argonne as a graduate student. I, I remember my first beam time coming here as a user and I was sort of amazed by this facility. I had no idea that anything like this existed. I am Senior Scientific Associate in the Chemical and Material Science Group at the Advanced Photon Source. So researchers come from all over the world to use our facility and our beamline and part of what my job is is to make sure that they're able to run their experiments safely and efficiently. Scientific Associate has a broad job description. So if you look at Scientific Associates all around the beamline, we all do different things. So I've been able to learn more about research, basic research, more about applied research, more about computer systems, more about information technology, more about data acquisition, more about how things run and why things run and how we do things. And I feel like having that opportunity gives me a better perspective for what I want to do in the future. I am a volunteer instructor for the Argonne Exercise Club. I teach classes like yoga, Pilates, mat work, kickboxing. I feel like the morning classes really motivate me to come into work early and I always leave class feeling more energized and like ready to work. Uh, and then the lunchtime classes I feel like are hugely beneficial to me because I get to take a break from what I'm doing, go and let off some steam, get some of my energy out, and then when I come back I always feel more clear-headed and ready to, to face the rest of the day. I've also been fortunate enough to be a mentor for the Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day for a couple years in a row, and that is always a fun experience. I feel like it's, it's a great opportunity to connect with, with young women who are just sort of learning about where they're curious and figuring out what kind of problems there are in the world and what they might be able to do to solve them. They get to listen to a lot of interesting talks from people who have current jobs in STEM. And then what's the most fun part about it is we get to do a lot of hands-on work and a lot of uh, demo stuff where we are with the students and they're watching demos. But then at the end when they're doing the cars, they get a little pamphlet with some information about what different sizes of wheels have a certain impact or what different gearing or size of body. And there's a couple of, of hints but they really get to make all the choices. They have all of the parts sort of there separated and they get to choose, well, I'm gonna try big wheels, I'm going for speed or I'm going for off-roading or I'm going for whatever. They really get to customize everything and, and then they get to test it to see how, you know, how they did. When they leave, a lot of times they're excited. They wanna to talk to their parents about what they learned. They wanna talk about what they, they feel like they might wanna study in school and I think that um, even whether or not they really realize it and attribute it, go back to, oh, you know, it was Introduce Girl Engineering Day back, way back when. I think that it does have um, a lasting impact on them.